Wilmington. All right, welcome back everyone to Good Morning Wilmington. Our next guests, LaToya and Jose Rodriguez from Millennium Marriage. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Welcome, welcome. welcome. And you know, I've been saying it all wrong and it's Millennium, mm -hmm. not Millennial. It's all right. Yes. All right. It's okay. Okay. We'll Sorry talk a little bit more about that too. Okay. So it's right, okay. Right. How, okay. So let's let's. How did you come up with the name? So mm -hmm. we actually started out as millennial marriage right. because okay. in our minds we felt like you know our generation and younger we could right. really support and encourage mm -hmm. in marriage, and as we started offering services, mm -hmm. we started getting feedback from all generations saying, mm -hmm. okay. "Hey, we're dealing with the same things. We want support too." Right. Um, and that's when we changed it to millennium marriage, and okay. our tagline is "A marriage that lasts a lifetime." Yes. You know, so that hence the name millennium. How, how old were you? How long? Yet? Not how old. I'm like, <laughs> how long y'all been married? So we've been together for 24 years. Damn. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you were right. Right. You were right. <laughs> that that's a beautiful so, thing. Yeah, by the way, that was a that was a good like, that was a good one. <laughs> just in the sandbox, and y'all was Listen. like, you know, when you. Like, we if appreciate you like that. We that's, yeah. a, no, that's, a, that's a good yeah. reaction. High school sweet, sweetheart. Yeah. Well, my senior oh, I love year. High okay. She okay. stalked me, but she it's okay. okay. That's right, homie, right. Story. Two right. sides right. of the story. Right. Right. All right, Absolutely. well, I'm going to have you step out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, exactly. and then we'll, bring, we'll switch, and then we'll get back to the interview. <laughs> so, but, so you guys met yes, how many years in, ago? In high school. Okay. 20, something. Early on in high school, early 2000s. And then... We've been together for 24 years, married for 14. Okay. Wow. Um, and through all of that, we've mm -hmm. kind of, um, you know, the trials, the tribulations that you go through in mm -hmm. relationship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've um, learned how to navigate a little bit that we had to go through the struggles. Yeah. Um, so we decided that people are going through those things and they go into marriage and they're not prepared. Mm -hmm. You know, we really don't know what to expect once we say I do. Right. Um, so we decided to create Millennial Marriage and... <laughs> And what do you do? So we are ordained officiants. Okay. Um, we do marriage mm -hmm. coaching. Okay. Um, we have date night, date events. night events. Yes. So really anything that encourages healthy marriage, okay. right? From beginning to end, mm -hmm. one stop shop. We want to help you understand what marriage is about, okay. right? As you're preparing for it. Um, there's a recent study mm -hmm. that says over 72% of couples going into marriage really had no idea of the commitment and what it takes yeah. for a marriage to succeed. Mm. Yeah. So we wonder why the divorce rates are so high or why people just aren't getting married anymore because they see in the media, they see divorce, they see unhealthy relationships, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, but mm -hmm. we want people to know that healthy marriage is attainable mm -hmm. yes, um, and you just have to work at it just like anything mm -hmm. else. So, so let's go back to, cause you're absolutely right, right? A lot of people get in marriages and mm -hmm. they don't realize they, when they, they married it because, oh, he looks cute. He got a wash, washboard stomach or he bow legged. <laughs> <you know? Yeah. laughs> then a couple right. years down then the road. Couple, right, right. <laughs> or the dad bod show up. Yep. You know, what is marriage mm -hmm. about? Let's start there. <laughs> Well, for us, we have three pillars that we really emphasize mm -hmm. when it comes to a healthy marriage, right? So number one mm -hmm. is really our spirituality. Okay. For us, we focus on a Christ-centered marriage, right? Okay. We believe that, you know, spiritually, when you, when you really are striving to be better as an individual, mm -hmm. then you can also be better together as a unit, right? Mm -hmm. But you each have to have that own individual journey, right? Mm -hmm. um, the other part is communication. Communication mm -hmm. is our superpower, and that's in any relationship. Right. marriage or otherwise right mm -hmm. so we really focus on how to communicate effectively mm -hmm. not because communication you can do it not but effective. that doesn't mean it's effective there you go right, right? right. Um, and the other part of that mm -hmm. is that humility leads to breakthrough mm -hmm. because really when it comes to divorce a high rate of divorce when you get down to the root of it it's based mm -hmm. on pride Mm -hmm. Right. Neither or one or the other did not want to kind of step back and take a look at how can I make right. a difference? Right. How can I focus on the things that um, I can improve so that that can improve our relationship as a whole? It's always a you mentality. Mm -hmm. And we really want to encourage people to understand that marriage is one of the most sacrificial things that you will ever do. Mm -hmm. So if your mentality is all mm -hmm. about me, which I'm not saying self-care is not important. Right. And mm -hmm. standards are important. But the reality is marriage is about servitude and serving each other. 
Mm. Mm -hmm. That's some really good advice, and I'm sure our listeners are really appreciating that advice, and I'm sure they've been told that over the years, yeah. but I feel that most people forget mm -hmm. oh, yeah. because life takes over, the normal da daily stressors of life, family, friendships, you name it, Absolutely. work, it, ha it just, it's normal. Mm -hmm. But I think that advice is, it's, it's not like on. any, but it's spot on, but it's yeah. not like it's new. Mm -hmm. This is not right. new. This is something that I feel that people just need to be reminded. Right. So how do we remind couples? How do we remind them? What, what, can, what do you offer mm -hmm. to remind them? Well, <clears throat> I'll say, and I'll let you get more into this. Um, if you look at our titles, we are marriage coaches, yes. right? Mm -hmm. And there's something behind that. So I'll let you okay. kind of get So for, uh, we both um, coached throughout our years, um, basketball. Um, I still currently coach. And as a coach, you know, we, we are to refine the skills that are there. Mm -hmm. So those skills are there. We all have those abilities. Um, we, we just really want to intend on helping you build on those abilities, mm -hmm. how to use them in what situations that they need to be used and, and when the pride has to be removed, when the communication has to be better, mm -hmm. how we need to communicate, knowing each other's communication styles, because um, that's a big mm -hmm. part. Um, knowing each other's love languages. Um, love yeah. languages are a really big thing. Uh, you hear it all the time. Everybody knows about the five love languages. Um, but they are really huge because we love the way that we want to be loved, mm -hmm. um, but that might not be the way our partner wants to be loved. Mm -hmm. um, so, if, so the effective communication, back to effective exactly. communication. Absolutely, it all, really, and we say it all the time, uh, we, do, we have a podcast as well. <laughs> okay. um, and on the podcast, we, I think every episode, at some point, it comes back to communication. Mm -hmm. It always comes <laughs> back to it because if, if I'm not loving her the way she needs to be loved, I'm not, I'm doing a disservice to her mm. and I'm not helping build our relationship together. Mm -hmm. um, I, I always say like for the, for the men, it's, it's a cheat code to know your partner's love language yep. because you're filling like, that love on, bucket. I mean Chico. No, 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 because I'm, no, I'm not going to say nothing crazy, but just, I promise, Please, I promise, I'm not going to say nothing. No, 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 because you said love language twice, right? Yes. And I want to make sure that people, that our viewers understand mm -hmm. what love languages are. Yes. Yes. That, that's all. See, I'm not going to say nothing crazy. <laughs> you know, so if you could, no before you finish, no, just tell people what love languages are. Right, so, right. Yeah, I'll jump in here. So um, there is a gentleman named Gary Chapman, mm -hmm. um, and he wrote a book called The Five Love Languages. Mm -hmm. There's also a quiz that you and your partner can take mm -hmm. uh, that helps you determine what is your love language, okay. right? So there are five um, acts of service, right. receiving gifts, mm -hmm. uh, quality time, mm -hmm. physical touch, and words, words of affirmation. Touch. Okay. Right? Right. So each of us, I mean, we all have some of that, yeah. but there are some that take a higher priority. So when right. you go online, you take the quiz, it's a free quiz, um, and it kind of gives you an idea of where you fall based on your responses. Mm -hmm. So like he said, we naturally, it's innate in us to love the way we want to be loved because that's our expectation. But I'll use us as an example. His top two are physical touch and words of affirmation. Mm -hmm. They are my bottom two. Mm -hmm. So it's not natural for me to give him words of affirmation. Mm -hmm. It's natural for me to want to spend quality time. So I'll just sit here and look at you. <laughs> you know, and he's like, uh, you want to talk about something? I just want to be here with you. Aww. You know? Right. Whereas that makes him uncomfortable. Should couples should couples talk about that like early, before, early in the game? Oh, yeah. Early. Okay. When you're dating, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, I think a lot of times um, in the dating scene, we forget what the end goal is, right? Yeah. You have to determine for yourself what is your end goal, right? Mm -hmm. Um, some people don't want to be married, and that's okay. Right. And it's, you know, it's not for everyone. It's definitely a mindset. Yeah. Um, but if that is your goal, you have to go into your dating relationships understanding this is my goal so that right. we're on the same page there. There's right. that communication, right? Yeah, effective. Effective right. communication, mm -hmm. right? right? Because if we can communicate those things and we're not on the same page from jump, there's no need for us to continue, continue yeah. right? right? Absolutely. Right. Um, but even having those conversations about love language, you don't have to get so deep. Yeah. It's a simple conversation. You know, I enjoy going out. I enjoy receiving gifts. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not really a gift giver, but, you mm -hmm. know, so those conversations really open up the spectrum to really help you understand mm -hmm. what the other person's goals are. Are you on the same pathway? Are you even in the same book? Yeah. Because if not, you know, it's right. like, what's the purpose of yeah. it? Now, I, think, I think every couple out here 
needs like a sheet, like when you go to date. Mm-hmm. Right. Like, <laughs> a checklist. Do you like, yeah, a checklist. Yeah, it's a checklist. And, yeah. and, and there's nothing wrong with that. I think mm-hmm. that's also something else that we have to talk about is that it's okay to have this conversation. Mm-hmm. It, I think most people are afraid. Yes. I, yes. I, I really feel like I, I go back to. Why do you think they're afraid, man? They're scared that they're going to, you know, scare the person off that they're mm-hmm. dating. We're talking about just dating. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I and mean, I think that's where it really starts. Absolutely. Being comfortable having these conversations in the dating mm-hmm. part of before marriage. Right. Right. right when you're yeah. starting to date. I think most people may be afraid to have mm-hmm. the conversations about love language yeah. and, mm. and what's the end goal. I feel like that should be right at the beginning. And some people are afraid or they're right. insecure. Yeah. And they're not sure. And yeah. I get it. It does take a little practice mm-hmm. to get there. Right. Absolutely. Now, do you offer coaching for individuals who are not married yet? So engaged couples. Yes. Engaged. Engaged, engaged okay, okay. and married. So preparing mm-hmm. for marriage. Um, in the future, we would also like to offer some services for singles. I who, think that's great. Yeah. That's where it starts. Building that's that strong foundation yeah. from the beginning. Absolutely. So they're comfortable and they're confident because right. building that confidence when dating is already, it's already scary. Oh, yeah. Dating right. is scary. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, it. I, I remember like it was yesterday when I first started dating. By the way, I started dating a very later age. Dad did not let me. No, Papa wasn't letting me. He wasn't letting that happen. Yeah, right. No, no, no. Right. My, yeah. my first date, my brother was right there. Right. <laughs> my older brother was right. right there. But going back to it, I remember feeling scared. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Absolutely. not knowing what to say. Communication. Not knowing mm-hmm. how to say things. Expressing right. myself. And it does take some practice and building that confidence. Mm-hmm. Right. But having someone to at least coach you and guide you, I mm-hmm. think is key. Yes, and there's, I mean, there are two different seasons when it comes to singles, you know, you really have to be, like you said, there's some insecurities there sometimes. You have to be secure in your singleness. Right. You have to know who you mm-hmm. are mm-hmm. before That's you powerful. want to link with someone else. That's right. You know, and, and many mm-hmm. times in relationships, dating, marriage, or otherwise, we want to change or conform the other person to what we want them to be, but we haven't even become yet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you. You, know? you better preach. <laughs> I agree. I agree Shoot. with you on that one, Latoya. People yeah. conform to the to the one they're dating. I right. disagree with that. That's yeah. that's big for me. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm a firm believer that you need to know who you are first. Mm-hmm. That's right. And be confident in who you are. And the person you're, whoever you end up with or you meet, mm-hmm. they will respect that. They will exactly. honor that. They will value that. Mm-hmm. And I think that that becomes your your partner mm-hmm. yeah you know partner in life because that's what you know you're taking on the world together that's and right. I, I i'm Absolutely. a firm believer in that but again yeah. everyone's different right everyone's <laughs> different everyone right. has different end, get, end goals now, now, right. now this is where i'm yeah. gonna sit up at you're all right, right. Yeah. come on all right jose <laughs> yeah. oh oh give me three tips <laughs> for women to understand their mate oh Three tips for women. For women. Yeah, should we leave the room? Um, Talk to the ladies. <laughs> Tell the ladies. Under, that understand that um, <laughs> men and women are completely different. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's really, I mean, the, the book was out there. Men are from Mars. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Women, yeah. So it's, it's so true. Our way of thinking, men are, tend to be a little more simplistic. Mm-hmm. You know, we, we are, our end goal might be the same that our partner wants us to get to. But the way we get there and our route might be different. The partner has to be okay with that route being different. Ah, yes, Because ladies. control can be cause different. a lot of conflict. Yes. <laughs> and that's the, one of the biggest things. Um, also, allowing, creating a safe space for your husband to be vulnerable. Mm-hmm. Be, creating a safe space for him to share his emotions. And that also goes back to communication. If I share an emotion, what's your response to that emotion? Ah. You know, are you, are you, is your response going to cause me to shut down and go back into a shell? Right. Cause for, for men, we, we have a tougher time being vulnerable. We have a tougher time putting our heart out there. Um, so how's that response going to be? Um, also again, communication, are you talking at your husband and mm. not to, or your partner? and not to your partner because right. that that can cause a whole nother problem yeah. you know we we want to be respected mm-hmm. in the communication in our relationship so how how are you navigating that with your partner with your husband or your mm-hmm. your your boyfriend did, um, did he pass the test did he, did he hey i mean <laughs> and listen i had to learn the hard way you know what mm-hmm. i mean like right. 
experiencing those yeah. moments. Um, and I thank God for him that he's been patient in that way, you know, because we don't come into relationships knowing how to do this. Yeah. yeah. You know, especially like you said, if you're young, just dating, you're trying to figure it out as you go along. Yeah. So we really have to give each other grace mm-hmm. and you. and really be willing mm-hmm. to to step back and say, OK, what am I willing to compromise on? Right. How can I support them through this? And I'll say he's done a great job of that because. Listen, the communication thing is not my thing. Right. Okay? And now you can't shut me up. It's his fault. <laughs> it's his fault. But you done created a monster. <laughs> created a monster. Yeah, there, okay. You're a monster. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah, right. It's mine. Yeah, right. I'm happy right. about it. Where, where can people, um, and, and where can people, tell people again, um, before we wrap up, where they can find you, yeah. your, your social media, Spotify, whatever, whatever. I heard you say you had a podcast. Yes. So our website is www.millenniummarriage.com. Um, our podcast can be found anywhere you find your podcast, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, all of those. Um, it's called the Millennium Marriage Podcast. Um, and yeah, visit our website. We have some date nights coming up. Um, we have uh, some coaching opportunities uh, deal going on right now for wedding officiating. So yeah, we hope to hear we from you. We have a book coming out. Soon. Ooh, we do I have a book coming out. out. That was literally <laughs> on my mind. I said I, they should have a book out. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I, yeah. The, the book stay, is, tuned. stay tuned. That is in the works. works. It will be out shortly. Mm-hmm. I, I don't want to give a, an exact date, but within mm-hmm. the next month, um, you can expect a book on our favorite topic. Communication. 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 So right. we want to start there. That's the groundwork starts there. So. I have a question. Go ahead. Latoya, I'm going to ask you first, okay. then I'll ask Jose. What piece of advice, what's the secret to marriage? What piece of advice would you give real quick? I would say the secret is compromise. Mm-hmm. Compromise. Um, we all want things our way, but we have to be open to understanding that our way isn't the only way. Mm-hmm. Um, and if we mm-hmm. are focused on oneness mm-hmm. and not being right, then we will get to our destination quicker. Okay. Jose? Pride. Ooh. Good if, one. If we can both remove our pride... Mm-hmm. Communication will be better. Relationship will be better. Everything will, you'll continue to grow. Yeah. How about you? Oh, uh, I have. I have one. Go ahead. Go ahead. Forgiveness. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Forgive quickly. Absolutely. Communicate, but forgive but quickly. Forgive quickly. Yep. Oh, you're looking at me. Yeah. Come on, <laughs> Ivan. Um. I think honestly, I, I would have to say, it would have to be be willing to grow. Right, a lot of us, a lot of us, um, a lot of people, married people that have been over, been married for over ten years, and maybe even today, they mm-hmm. they get married because of what it looks like, right? Yes. Of of oh, I like the way he look, I like the way she looks, um, and then realize that, you know, it's much more to it. Like you said, right. it's a lot mm-hmm. to it, right? Mm-hmm. And you have to figure out like, what is this long haul? Yeah. What, what is it? Mm-hmm. You know, you you get married, and my my thing I used to say all the time was, people get married out of the vanity of it, mm. right? Mm-hmm. But when the rubber meets the road, you know, people outgrow um, yes. clothes, mm-hmm. furniture, this and that, yeah. and you make vows based on something that you see. Yep. And then when 10 years, 20 years, or something happens in a person, when your loved one catches cancer or, or you know, catches this or catch, whatever, or goes broke or whatever, mm-hmm. now people tend to hold things against you know, Absolutely. so it's 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 you have to be open and, and, and like go back to the very basics and sit down and say, hey, <clears throat> this is what I like. This is yeah. what I don't like. This is a deal breaker. Yeah. You know, this yes. is this. this is. Mm-hmm. I remember it was a, it was a show and I, I can't remember the name of it, but it was they treated marriage mm-hmm. like a business contract. Mm-hmm. They went in and mm-hmm. she said, I want mm-hmm. I want to park. I want to I want a place in on Park Ave. Is that a deal breaker? I want this. I want four kids. He's like, I don't want four. I don't want four kids. I want one boy two, and, and one boy. And wow. like, and yeah. they in thirty seconds they negotiated their whole wedding. Wow. Like, well, this ain't gonna work. Wow. Right? What because they was up front, and you can. It, it, it was meant to be funny, right. but it also right. had some truth in there. Mm-hmm. Right. So I think that my thing is. People need just to be upfront and be like, this is what I want. Mm-hmm. This is what I need. Right. I'm with the compromise a little bit, mm-hmm. right? I'm mm-hmm. with it a little bit. Right, because you still have your values. Yeah. yeah. Right. Um, and I remember uh, um, our Eartha kid said, why should I compromise? This is what I want. Mm-hmm. 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 This is what I deserve. But it's right. okay to bend a little. Yeah, you it's can okay bend. It's okay to fl- yeah. be flexible. You can bend. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think it's really about understanding the reality of who we are. We yeah. are all humans. Mm-hmm. So we're not perfect. So I can want what I want, right? right? But the reality is is um, we all 
all need grace to grow Thank and you. learn Thank and you. to build into who God created us to be. Like so that. until we can get there, we mm -hmm. have to work together to encourage each other. Y'all might have to stay because we might have to yeah. shoot the podcast on damn so. All right. Let's do it. Let's we, do it. We got the mic set up. All right, look. Remember, look. <laughs> you all need grace to grow. Grace to grow. Grace that's that's a grow. shirt. That's a shirt. All right. Like, thank you so much thank for coming. I appreciate it. Yes. For more information, awesome. go to Millennium Millennium Marriage. Marriage. Yes. Um, yes. All right. And you can follow them on the IG, Millennium Marriage. Yes. Instagram, Facebook, Facebook mm -hmm. Millennium yes. Marriage. Yep. And I see your Facebook your Facebook group is popping over there. Yes. We just thought we just opened that this past week. So okay. we have a private Facebook group. If you're engaged, marry, and yeah. really want to engage with us and get some tips, mm -hmm. join our Facebook group. That's right. All right. Perfect. Thank perfect. You. Perfect. Perfect. Thank perfect. Great conversation. All right. Yeah. What's up, everyone? It's your main man, Big Ive, the talk of the town, Mr. DETVCH.com, and I'm here with my wonderful and amazing co-host, Vincenza. <laughs> we just stopped by to tell you to be sure, if you want any information on what's going on in Wilmington and to meet some dynamic people doing some amazing and great things, be sure to watch us live on Good Morning Wilmington on Mondays and Wednesdays at 10 p.m. Oh, Ivan, 10 a.m. Which he said, <laughs> 10 a.m. Listen to me. That's why he has me here. But yes, <laughs> tune in live 10 a.m. Monday and Wednesday on Good Morning Wilmington. DETVCH.com.